So, um, uh, during Christmas, so did you just keep working as usual, or did you take any kind of breaks or anything? Um, no, I just kept on, on uh, not not as much though, not as much every day, but I did put up something. At least every once day. a day. Yeah, once a day, at least something. Yeah, I was, yeah. I had that in my head. That I should do that, but I didn't. <laughs> It, it was hard, though. <laughs> and now I'm paying for it, though. I mean, at least you had the minimum. Am I? Oh, my phone is ringing. Okay. Um, at least you had a minimum of two cells, you know, or, uh, you know, I had days where I didn't sell anything. And I'm like, I probably should go to work. <laughs> you know, Christmas was like the whole month of December was really good. Um, yeah, the beginning for me was good. was really good. That the, on the 16th, this one, I sold that. Um, that thing for five hundred dollars. Yeah, I saw that. That's awesome. That was, that was cool. <laughs> I did. I did get a return yesterday, but I didn't get no. They didn't write me. Oh, it just said return to sender. But it was oh, since really? December twenty third though. That's was like, hey, they're barely sending it back. <laughs> did they even open up a return case? No, nothing. On the on the thing, it just said return to sender, and I guess the person never picked it up. It must have been a PO or something. So what did you do about that? Did you message I'm, them or? I'm, I'm gonna message them and if they don't get back at me, I'm just gonna refund and just go on. <laughs> Since they didn't message me nothing. Huh? That's weird. Yeah, it was, it was weird. That's the second time I get something like that. <laughs> really? Like no no info no nothing. Yeah. Huh. I'm so. trying to think like the buyer. I'm thinking well maybe they're still waiting for it and eventually they're gonna be like hey where's my item and. Yeah. <laughs> but you message them, so I don't know. Yeah. I guess buyers, people that don't actually sell on eBay, probably don't check their messages as much as we do. You know? Yeah, <laughs> well, turn off their right. notifications and everything. All right, I'm yeah. going back in. Where did you say uh, your thingy is at in your garage, an extra room? Your fancy... um, yeah, the garage. I, I use my whole garage for, for eBay pretty much. That's cool. It looks really good. So yeah. Oh, that's like, your garage. Yeah. You have a uh, heating in there or something? <laughs> yeah, I put a heater in here. <laughs> nice. Yeah, it's it's it was worth it. <laughs> so yeah. I can work. I close the doors and stay in here as long as I want. <laughs> that's nice. I have my own room that I do eBay in, but it is not big enough. You want to see see how just I've got all this stuff. <laughs> And this is slightly organized and still <laughs> got this stuff and yeah, this I'm running. I've got stuff in the living room because I just don't have room in here. But I mean, I'm working on organizing my garage and cleaning it out. But when I first started, I worked in there only and uh, but it was getting to be a pain in the butt because the computer was in here. My stuff was in there. I was having to run back and forth. I didn't like yeah, it. I I had my stuff in the living room and our bedroom, and I just decided to clean up the whole garage and do it all in here. And I moved my computer and everything. Everything's in here now, so nothing inside the house except I have a sh a shed I built a couple of years ago, but I built it just for storage. But now I'm using it for eBay too. <laughs> <I would laughs> eBay taking over everything. <laughs> Yes. Okay, well, since we're still on the topic, Lisa, I guess I'll show you my purge fest. I've been purging. That's what I've been doing. And, uh, oh, my gosh, it doesn't end. It doesn't end. Four kids, tons of crap, toys, everything. Wait, uh, so this is – I don't want to see if you can see. All this stuff is all purging from the rooms, Lisa. Are you done with purging yet? No, I'm not done with Anya's room. <laughs> That's three kids' rooms, I guess I should say. And I donated already – Last month, was it seven or eight boxes that they remember that I had to drop off because they didn't pick up? And then I just donated oh, yeah. more. So like 12, 13 boxes, big ones of stuff that was just, you know, little piddly oh. stuff I didn't want to make a buck or something off of. So I just let that stuff go. And then I need to get shelving. And I just found stuff at Walmart that's actually inexpensive. I was all freaking out. I'm like, I don't have the money to get all this off. Cause we, we bought a house. We moved to Texas. So. Our house is bigger, so now we don't have the furniture to furnish the two extra spaces, if you're wondering. And so I created my little shelving unit out of priority boxes. That's cool. For now, until I get something. But I'm still running out of space. I mean, look at this. There's no 
place to put stuff. I mean, like there's space, but you know what I mean? There's no shelvings or anything where I can get it organized at home. Um, when I was sourcing and doing all that stuff, I had everything in the living room forever. And then I decided to clean out my closet. Wait, when you say at home, you mean in Oklahoma? In my closet. Yeah. And then um, use all the shelving in there because I had a nice big closet. And I do too here, but for some reason we acquired more clothes. Even after the purging of more clothes, I still have more crap to where I, I, I don't know. I don't know where it comes from. So <laughs> I'm, I'm in the process of trying to get that stuff organized because it's, it's a lot. And so my sales this week have been horrible. Not that I sell 50,000 things a day, but I also haven't been listing very much either. But I've been more on watching the thrifters and all those stuff, all those things. Yeah. I mean, even though I know overall how to eBay, but I've been focusing more on what to source next. Cause I'm getting really kind of bored with the kids' clothes, even though I need to do it. But I need to get something else in. Because, you know, you get unmotivated and it's like, oh, I'll do it tomorrow. Yeah. I'll do it tomorrow. I, I need to do it every day. So, um, you, you, you know, I'm down to the point where I don't really have, I need to go like buy more stuff now. Cause I pretty much listed just about everything I have. You have no really? dead files. Wow. Um, I have like maybe three or four things that I had to put up. That's about it. Are you serious? Yeah, I was Dang, surprised. Time to go shopping. <laughs> <laughs> the albums. I have a bunch of albums, like like classic rock and stuff like that. So I'm just gonna put those. I already sold. I have a person picking about seven of them up for like 50, forty bucks. Sweet. And then you know those those things cost about fifty to a dollar at garage sales. Yeah. yeah. There's not. Yeah, so. I've listed a whole bunch of CDs. I have a whole bunch of CDs um, with no cases, and I think that's what helped elevate my list, my amount of listings that I have because I had a crap load of them. Just oh, I mean, okay. like a, a, a 250, you can put 250 discs in this case thingy, and I've just been storing my movies and CDs. I mean, from back in high school, I have Ace and Bass in there, you know, and just some oh, yeah. some stuff that. And I actually sold one. It was a Nina Cherry. You guys remember Nina Cherry? Yeah. Yeah, I just sold one of them. Of course you don't, Maggie. <laughs> Maggie's not him. <laughs> but, so uh, you, so the, the CDs only, they're still pretty good, too? Oh, well, okay. I mean, you know, whenever I was looking up the prices, people were selling them really cheap, and I wasn't willing to put in that much. And it wasn't really that much work. It was pretty easy, but still, I put in work. So yeah. my minimum was like five ninety nine, six ninety nine. dollars 99 I think I did free shipping. I don't remember. Because I stopped doing free shipping recently, and I'm still selling the same amount. So, um, but yeah, I mean, even with, with with the cheaper options out there, people are still buying from me. And I don't know oh. if they're just not seeing those other listings or what's going on, but I'm kind of surprised because I've, I've done that with a couple of things and where I know my price is higher than other people's and it, my stuff's still sold. So, I mean, maybe they sold out the other ones. I don't know. But it works. With the titles, too, I think. Some yeah. people just put the CD in the name of it, and that's it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah. So yeah, I kind of went all out, and with some of them, I put the, the track list on there, you know, if it was copy and pasteable. <laughs> that's <laughs> that's the that's the <laughs> but, yeah, they're selling. But that helped, like, boost my listings up. I got I got to a 470, at I think, yesterday, but then I sold something, so I Hold think on, I'm you at guys. 469 now or something. Oh wow! So you you been a, I mean you got a lot a lot of stuff up now. Yeah, I think the last time two months ago in November when we had uh we were talking um I think I only had like 150 items up. Yeah. So wow. I, what's, well, but what's crazy is that I like I said I slacked off a lot so I could have way more right now if I <laughs> didn't oh, that's slack still off. Up. Thank you. I, I I went down to a I have a about a thousand ninety ninety five or something like that right wow. now. Wow. It went, um, I remember you said you had 1300 last time. Yeah, I had 1300 in like that whole month of November, December. I sold I sold a lot. A lot of stuff. Wow, that's awesome. It was it was averaging like the highest I've had. Um it was about 7500 a month. Oh my god. On on like November and December pretty much. And right oh, now I can't it's wait to get there. <laughs> it, it was it was awesome. <laughs> I was like, yes. <laughs> but I like during Christmas, I spent way more than I should have <laughs> on gifts and stuff like that. Yeah, kind of had a little like, too much fun. <laughs> but now I'm trying to be in tight with the with everything right now. 
just because, and then it's kind of slowing down a little bit. So, yeah. But at least it's still like right now, just sold one thing at least, something. <laughs> so, do you um have you ever tried other platforms? Um, I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna go into um Amazon. I've been. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try and see because I guess sometimes I get some like brand new stuff, and. Uh, I have another guy that's, that he 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 told me he does that, and he said he does pretty well, and he just started doing it, and he's doing it from home too, so he's not doing the where you ship it to them. Oh right, really? so he, he ships it out himself. Yeah, from his house. And you can do that with Amazon. Yeah, I didn't even know that. <laughs> I didn't either. Hmm. He said that's what he's. He said that it's pretty much the same process as eBay. You're shipping it, um, printing it. But so, isn't there aren't there fees like more? Do you know what they're? Do you know anything about their fees? Um, no, nah, he didn't tell me. We didn't, we didn't talk about that. I need to. That's what I need to get into because I do eventually want to do where I ship it to them and see see how that goes. But I need to find something that's at least uh, a, that'll fill a good box yeah. full of it. I just heard in some podcasts uh, from several different people that mm-hmm. they're getting to the point to where. Pretty much you're all saying the same thing. Like Amazon is saying, screw the small business guy. Screw the little guy. So that just makes uh-huh. me scared to even try it, you know, because I'm I, way, I, way little. <laughs> I wouldn't want to do that then. Yeah. But, but, I mean, I haven't looked it further into it. I just, I hear what they say, and I'm like, eh, I'm not going to look into that right now. But yeah. I have started doing Poshmark. And okay. that is actually going very well for me. Um, it's Have you ever... <laughs> No, I've never heard of that. Now you you listen to Nicole States, right? Yeah. That's where oh, I yes. got the idea. Huh? She talks about it, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's where oh. I got the idea. Where she said she was going to start doing Poshmark, and so she kind of talked about how it was working for her, and and I I need to I don't know why I'm not getting her podcast. I think I need to change my settings. But usually when she has a new podcast, I automatically get it downloaded to my phone. But they haven't yeah. been doing that maybe because i was trying to catch up i don't know but um she's yeah i started huh but she's been on youtube a lot have you seen those uh-huh yeah i've seen a few of those um yeah maybe i started thinking well maybe she's doing more of her youtube than she is the podcast i don't know i have to check into it but um yeah i'm liking the the poshmark seems to be really good for purses i've sold a couple of louis vuittons that i just got for free Oh, okay. uh, a friend of mine, I, I've gotten a couple of things. I haven't had to source in a while because my brother-in-law just got, he's in the military and he just got shipped out. Okay. That sounded wrong, but you know what I mean? Deported, yeah. whatever. Not deported. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you mean. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's <laughs> pretty much the same thing though. <laughs> Oh, I totally am recording this too. Anyways, <laughs> they took him away for yeah. like a while, like for six months. So, um, he, he, well, it was all of a sudden. He was supposed to go in January, but because it was all of a sudden, it was before Christmas. Deployed. <clears throat> Do what? Deployed. Deployed. Yes, thank you. There you go. <laughs> what did I say? What, what was that? Yeah. Deported. <laughs> <laughs> I'm half Mexican, so that's not racist. Anyway, <laughs> so he had to move, and me and my parents had to go move his stuff out for him because he was already gone, and there was a bunch of stuff he said he didn't want anymore that we could just take or whatever, so I got it all. Oh, so I've cool. got a living room full of that stuff, and then a friend of mine, just literally a couple of days ago, she was moving to Florida, and um, her daughter and my daughter are best friends and when she says she's gonna take it all to goodwill my daughter was like no 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 no, give it to my mom she'll sell it on ebay she's like okay so i've got a whole bunch of stuff from her and it was a whole bunch of purses coach purses a couple of louis vuittons which i've never held a louis vuitton item in my hand ever before i'm not big into uh like i like purses for functionality i don't care about the brand you know but to sell them oh yeah so those sold really quick on Poshmark, and um, so I'm liking that. So now I've got my teenage daughter, like, just pretty much copying and pasting my listings from eBay to Poshmark for me. She started that last night, and it's really cool because you know that it's more of a social thing. It's kind of like eBay slash Facebook put together. 
I guess. Oh, okay. It's kind of a social thing because you you just go in there and you follow a bunch of people so they start following you and and that's everybody seems to know that's the way it works because if you follow somebody they follow you you know so it's just i've got tons of followers now i mean i started getting followers before i even started you know <laughs> because you got this link where you can click on that says um if you want to follow new people and that's probably where i got my followers but and then they have these parties with uh, themed parties like like yesterday um the the party was called like plus size something it was about it was plus sizes, so you can start sharing all your plus size items in this party. And I guess the hosts are looking over all these items, and I got a host pick, which means that it goes into a, a new tab where it's called host picks. And so people go in there. If they're shopping, maybe they're looking in the host picks only. So now my item was in host picks, and all these people saw it. They started sharing it all over the place, and it's really a good way to network. You know, oh, okay. so I'm really liking Poshmark right now. I mean, definitely, obviously, sticking with eBay. I put way too much work into it. <laughs> but <laughs> kind of having my daughter doing the Poshmark thing for me. So, and I think it's working out pretty well. I haven't gotten paid yet. Oh, okay. It, and I'm assuming it's kind of like eBay, where when I first started eBay, I had to wait a few days, you know, to make sure I was legit, you know, and I wasn't screwing people over. Because now I get paid immediately. But back then, I had to wait. You remember... I don't know. Yeah. It's been so long for you, <laughs> but yeah, I had to wait like until they got it and three days after they got it or something like that. And so I have to wait until probably this weekend before I get paid. But that was just two purses alone was, uh, I sold them really cheap for Louis Vuitton. So for two purses, I got about, I think $320 or something like that. And that's automatically with the fees taken out and everything. They take the fees out right there and then. I really, uh, really love. I wish eBay would do that. You yeah. know, I hate having to pay them later, and I'm like, want to be? <laughs> I know. So I just take it out right now, so I don't have to worry about it later. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> I really would just rather them take the money now, so I don't have to. Because uh, last month, I tell you what, I completely forgot about my eBay fees and it got to the point to where I had to call them and ask, ask for an extension because I kept getting yeah. messages saying, oh, your eBay's or fees are late and we're going to have to suspend. No, they didn't say suspend my account, but something with my account. So I called them and I was like, look, this is the only way I'm making money. Can we work something out here? And because it kept saying, like, if I don't pay by the 30th, I think it was December, yeah, that something would happen with my account. So what they told me was I just – people can still buy from my store. I just can't list anything until I pay that. Oh, I was like, okay. well, I know that if I list, I sell, so I'm going to do my best. And so they ended up telling me it wouldn't happen until, like, the next invoice was generated, which was going to be between January 3rd and 5th. So mm -hmm. I was like, well, I should be able to get the money by then, which I did. Yeah. But, yeah, that, that was just a pain in the butt. You know, if they would just take it out right there and then, I wouldn't have to worry about that shit, you know? Yeah. It kind of makes me My mad. <laughs> yeah. what, I don't want to have to worry about another bill. Yeah. <laughs> Maggie, are you still with us or uh, got us on hold? Okay. In, um, in March, it'll be uh, two years doing eBay for me. <gasps> really? Yeah. Sweet. So I was like, man. But it's been about... I left my work in March this year, so it'll be it'll probably be almost a full year for me in March without working, just doing this full time. Oh, really? So. Well, so the the first year you were still working at another job. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Were you working full time and then doing eBay part time? Yeah. Or full time, full time. <laughs> full time. Yeah, I wasn't oh getting gosh. most. And I was there for 10 years working at that place. Wow, so, really? Yeah, I was there for a long time. And it was kind of iffy for me to, like, really actually quit and do it full time. Yeah. But it's been, like, my wife's been going to school, so it's like I, I take the girls to school and pick them up. And and then she gets, she leaves, like, around 6 and I'm probably home around 5.30. And then we that's we just pretty much help each other since and it's been it's been working a lot better for her because she's concentrating and and she she graduates in may so should be things should be a lot better by, by around that time 
Is she getting her bachelor's, master's? What's she working on? She's going to be an ultrasound tech. Oh, wow. So that's going to be... She's been there about going on three years now. This is She graduates in May. That's awesome. I, I can be like, I put you through college. <laughs> <laughs> so, but... Yeah, I would like to go back to school. That's something I'm... Um, I will think about for the future. Right now, I'm just trying to get... I'm trying to get my eBay store to the point to where I don't have to worry about my bills. You know, that yeah. I know they're taken care of. Let's move on to the next thing, next step, you know? Because <laughs> right now, I'm able to pay my bills, but it's so last minute, it's still scary, you know? <laughs> I hear you there. Somebody posted a picture right now. Oh, no, that must have been someone. Oh, that's a different, oh, that's a different group. <laughs> on the eBay, eBay <laughs> The eBay thrif thrifters. Yeah. yeah, I really like that uh, that group. Yeah, they they they're 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 a good um source to like. I know. I was just telling Maggie last night, like because of that group, it's cut my research in half. Yeah. You know, the, re the time I take to research crap, because I'll research it and research it myself, and if I don't get it, maybe in ten fifteen minutes, then I'm on that group just asking the question, you know. Oh yeah. And they usually help out. I think there's one question I asked that never got answered i don't even remember what it was but i figured it out i'm sure <laughs> yeah i had okay. um did you see my, that um that picture i shared uh like a it was a franken box i did i think i i think i did see that i don't remember what it looks like but i remember seeing that it had like a bunch of ebay tape all around it oh yeah that, that was a hard uh, it was um it was actually one of those uh those old school blow up um, plastic Christmas decorations for outside. Oh yeah, yeah. It was a win uh, Tigger. I bought it. I bought it That's for eight dollars, cool. and but it, it sold for a hundred and fifteen bucks. Sweet. It, yeah, I was, I was, I was, I didn't, I didn't know those things were that. I mean, people were paying that much money for that. Oh, we need the poo, right? <laughs> and it was, it went to New York. So uh, I didn't have no box for it, so I just, but it, it got there safely. So that's, the good. <laughs> that's awesome. I know that yeah. guy was thinking, what the hell is this? <laughs> yeah, I was thinking about that box whenever I, at first, I finally got my eBay tape. Mm -hmm. And um, the very first box I used it on, I thought I would use it just like I do regular tape. And it was ugly. <laughs> it was not pretty. Well, I was trying to, I did it just like I would do with normal tape. But then mm -hmm. I was trying to also use it for decoration, and it just wasn't working out. It was uh, an ugly box, but <laughs> I'm sure the item got there just fine. <laughs> That's the important thing. So right now, I'm kind of just using it as cover-up or just decorative tape, you know, because I use a lot of tape. Yeah. And I'm thinking if I'm using a lot of eBay tape, it's just going to look ugly, you know? <laughs> <laughs> going back to the, the meetings face-to-face, -face, um... Yeah, I would also like to do it to where we could go to Tulsa, too, or just, you know, that everybody could, like, every once in a while make a road trip, you know? I know yeah. that most of us, I think, from what I saw, most of us are close to Oklahoma City. There, I saw someone that was in Norman, Edmond. I'm in Yukon, but that's pretty much Oklahoma City. Um, I, I know there's a, place, there's a place in Oklahoma that has um the Goodwill bins or the outlet, but I'm not sure if it's... Norman, it's somewhere in Oklahoma. I was like doing some research on it because I want to. I want to go to one of those things to see. There's one in the city. Oh, there is. Mm -hmm. oh, I've been to it. Cool. <laughs> yes, and you know, I liked what I got. <laughs> That's pretty good. Yeah, I think there it was a dollar forty nine a pound. Oh, okay. It was. But huh. yeah, I, I've only been there once, and I'm trying not to source anything because I have so much just given to me right now. I'm very, very grateful for it, but I have to admit I do miss shopping a little bit. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I, I'm not going to source until I get all this stuff done. But, That's yeah, good. I can't wait to go back there. I've only been there once, and I feel like I had no idea what I was doing because I've heard a lot about them, but, you mm -hmm. know, they don't let you take videos in there, so not many people can show you how yeah. the experience is. Um, and so there's, like, these giant bins, like they talk about, just – just clothes just dumped into there and some are really nice some of them i got a workout my arms hurt so bad because i was just digging all day i mean 
I went there all day long. But then there's these bins on the walls. To have you ever been to one before? I've never been. Mm-hmm. Well, there's yeah, there were some on the walls where I guess that's where you have to stand behind a line, and they change those out every once in a while. I don't think they changed out the ones in the the middle so much, but the ones mm-hmm. on the walls had like hard stuff. Like the the ones in the big bins, I think were mostly clothes and blankets and material kind of stuff, and then everything yeah. on the wall had all the hard stuff. And I just didn't know what I was doing. And apparently I was in people's way because, <laughs> because there was this one, like, they were like, go. And I think they blew a whistle or something. And, and people just were going crazy. And I'm just looking. I'm trying to see what I wanted to grab. And this one lady's just getting right in front of me and getting into the tubs in front of me. I was like, excuse me. <laughs> Some serious shit going on there, you know. <laughs> here, here in Tulsa, I went to the, the Goodwill auction a couple of times. Ooh, I didn't know they had those. Mm-hmm. They have them. I know. I know they have one here in Tulsa, and it's pretty much Monday through Friday every every morning. Really, every morning. Yeah, so I think how does it's that. A, that one's um. That they put them in a big bin, and you're you're betting on the bin on the bins. Pretty much everything's full. It's completely full to the top, and I got I got two big um just full for about. Thirty-five dollars. It was cheap. I mean, and then I had I, I, I had stuff there for. I threw away half of the stuff though. But I mean, the money I made, I made. A, I think one item I made sixty dollars on one of the wow. items. Wow. So the rest was just gonna be profit. So you but, got a giant bin, uh, everything mm-hmm. in that bin for thirty bucks. I uh, know two of them. Two bins for thirty. Bucks. Are you are you talking you're talking about the big bins, the huge yeah. bins, yeah. not the Wow, I want to go there. <laughs> and it was, was kind of cool. Everybody, you know, they, um, they recommend to have gloves on because there's broken glass in there. That's what I've heard. <laughs> you have about thirty to an hour to go in before, like, with, with everybody, and look at the look inside them to see which one you're gonna bid on, and then just put out your number. So there's whenever you whenever you bid there, do you do it like on paper, or do they call it out like da 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 you know? Yeah, pretty much like that. And then you have your card, you throw it up in the air. And okay. Like, hey. And then they wow. go, there, there's, I mean, there's lines and lines of them. So they're going on each, they're bidding on each. Um, so mo- I, I saw that most of those people buying there are the ones that sell at the flea markets and stuff. Oh, really? Because I've, I've gone to a lot of flea markets and it's pretty much the same people that are buying. So that's where they're sourcing their stuff for sure. Hmm. And, but We're just I online flea markets. <laughs> Yeah, he was oh. talking about um, talking about the bins, like Goodwill bins in Oklahoma. And I said there's one in the city, and he said that there's Goodwill auctions in Tulsa. I didn't know they did auctions. Did you? No. He got Where's two the... giant bins for thirty bucks, and he said he had to throw away like half of it, but he made sixty bucks on just one item. Yeah. So I hey, want to do that back sometime. To item. That's good. No, uh, the auctions here are crappy. <laughs> I said the options here are crappy. I haven't been to like the Salvation Army, but the Goodwill is absolutely horrible, the one by me. And it's in the richier part of area. And um but there's no Goodwill outlet. I know that. I was looking for one. So I'll have to do more checking around because it's like really disappointing. I went yesterday and there's nothing. There's nothing to like pick from at all, you know? It's so ghetto. It's like, why do you even sell this crap? And it's expensive. Ours is very expensive, like these blouses, four or five bucks. I'm like, I can get that at Ross, brand new, or TJ Maxx, brand new stuff. I don't, you know, it's horrible. So I got to find a sourcing place down here. You know, I had, I had a friend tell me that he's um, he flips, like, sneakers, and he buys them, um, like, from Ross. Like, I never even thought about that. He's spending Ooh. 25 to $30, and he's selling them for, like, 100 to $200. Cause he well he knows his sneakers. I don't have, I have no clue you know <laughs> he the the high so but that's where he sources. That's not a bad idea because what me and Maggie were talking about with, when she was talking about the Goodwill store the other day that the shoes at the Goodwills I I have hardly ever found any good shoes like in good condition. I've got a few that I've gotten but it, it it's so rare that it makes me not even want to look you know. But that's a really good idea because the shoes at Ross. They look great if you can find the other shoe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, that's the one thing I remember. I haven't been to Ross in a long time, 
But when I found a shoe I liked and was my size, I couldn't find the other one. <laughs> Every time. Really? <laughs> yes. It's funny. Want to buy 40? See, the funny thing, with Ross and TJ Maxx, I never thought about flipping them because that's where I always get my shoes. So I never thought about flipping them because I'm like, oh, I need these. <laughs> yeah, and I, I buy my shoes there too because I don't want to spend $80, $90 on shoes. <laughs> but, yeah. And oh, I had an idea. I, I told Lisa this. This is an idea for sourcing that I'm going to do here probably this week is, you know, the Facebook sales sites we have or, you know, the community pages. Mm -hmm. I was like, you know, oh, well, over here it would work because our big trash doesn't come except like once every three months. So people are getting rid of old crap. They have to either take it themselves or wait. And I mean, you get rid of small crap too. You know how people just get rid of stuff. And I was like, you know, and you, yeah, you've got this Goodwill stores and stuff coming to your house every so often, but sometimes you have to wait a month before they come in your area. I was like, well, it wouldn't hurt to put up saying, hey, if you've got stuff to donate, you know, you can pick up. And I was even thinking, like, what if, you know, you could even pay them? I mean, I don't know if it's in an area where it's more expensive, like maybe, hey, you know, I'll pay you five bucks per box. So they're making, you know, 20, you know, if they've got a box of crap, yeah. it might be worth it. I mean, if, if the free thing doesn't work, you know, hey, I'll pick up your crap, you know, for free right. as long as it's it's in my car or whatever and take it to the donation at any time they want. So they don't have to wait six weeks for you to come. But, you know, like, hey, can you come tomorrow? Sure. You know, and then you get to keep the crap you want and drop it off at Goodwill. That's a good idea. I love that idea. <laughs> that is a really good idea. I mean, so far I'm kind of doing that with the people I already know, like that chick that just moved to Florida yeah. and Morgan's apartment. I like that idea. <laughs> yeah, but you got lucky there. It's like nobody gets that lucky with I know. an accidental person with all those fancy purses. But, but yeah, I mean. I, I hit the purse jackpot, dude. That's <laughs> nice. <laughs> I just got to sell the rest. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Louis Vuitton, I had no idea. Like, I had one that people were selling. People were selling this. the big one I had between like the lowest one I found used on eBay was $450 and that does not even include shipping. And then at up to over a thousand dollars for the exact same purse used. And so I was like, well, surely I can flip it fast if I say 350, you know, so I said 350 <clears throat> and also posted it on Poshmark and then Poshmark is where I quickly got an offer for 280. I was like, yes, yes, I'll take it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I would have done the same thing. Yeah, I didn't hesitate. I was like, ah, my first sell on Poshmark. It was so exciting. That's <laughs> and awesome. it was like, yeah, that is the biggest sell I've had ever, even doing eBay, you know? Yeah. So And it's awesome because kinda... you didn't pay a dollar for it. That's what's I cool. know. <laughs> it's all profit. Well, except for the Poshmark fees, which I think was, I think they ended up getting like 50 bucks out of it. So I got 220, something like that. Still. Oh, okay. I got Still. the purse for free, you know. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah. I'm happy about for that. For your time. <laughs> but I was telling Julio, Maggie, that um, because I, I'm sure I don't know if you saw the post on our our group, but people were talking about like they were asking where we're all from in Oklahoma, and people were saying Oklahoma, uh, Oklahoma City, and you know I said Yukon. Some people were Edmond, Norman, and um, so not realizing there's so many people so close to the city. I was thinking about like um, doing some face-to-face -face meetups, but still like going to a Starbucks or something so we could still Skype you guys, you know? And I mean, Maggie lives, Maggie grew up here. Maggie just recently moved to Texas, what, six months ago? Yeah. yeah June, six months ago. So, and I mean, we've been best friends since seventh grade. And so she's, I mean, definitely an Oklahoma eBayer. <laughs> So I'm trying to get her to come back, you know, but, uh, <laughs> but, um, what was I going to say? Oh, but it would be like a 15 hour drive for her to come. So, cause I was asking him if he would be willing living in Tulsa to ever come to the city. So I was kind of thinking about maybe having the different places, like having a meetup in Norman, but either way, as long, you know, no matter what, I mean, no matter what, we would still Skype, you yeah. know, for those of y'all that are 15 freaking hours away <laughs> or too far away. Cause I, I mean, I wouldn't mind doing it. What is it? Two hours for, to Tulsa to Oklahoma hour City? And hour and a half. Yeah. I wouldn't mind. Like, if I was in your shoes, I wouldn't mind doing that every once in a while. Like, maybe every meetup. I don't know, but that's an excuse for shopping somewhere. You know, I go source stuff at. It's different true. Places. 
Have a new place to source. I like your style. <laughs> and then we can text right off anyways. <laughs> that's right. There you go. You're thinking um, that's the way to think. <laughs> um, but to mention something, because at least I put a topic on, and I don't know if you guys talked about the topic when I was no, gone. No, we haven't but... talked about it yet, because I was okay. waiting for well, you. Was... Oh, okay. Well, no, it's just funny because she put up the topic, and it's like I tried to do some research on the whole um, what – what does like Oklahoma, what's a popular thing that Oklahoma sells or, you know, what states sell? And the only thing I found was from 2014, they had a map of this stuff. And Oklahoma was actually cosmetics, which yeah. hence brings really? me to, do, to doing my face. The reason, okay, one of the best places I found, I haven't done a lot of makeup sourcing. Cause like I said, I've started off all my kids' clothes. There's thousands of that crap. So I really need to get rid of that crap before I'm, you know, clutter up my house with more stuff. Um, okay. Um, hold on. I got your message thingy. Um, anyway, um, Walgreens and see, I haven't found this here at my Walgreens down here. Walgreens does this thing where it's last chance items. And I don't know if they're really last chance or if they're just going away temporarily or something. I don't, I'm not a big makeup buff person, so I have no idea, but and not all of them are super great deals, but it's easy to find because you walk in, you see those orange, big fat labels. I saw them. You just, Okay. cruise all of them and you get crap that's you know 75 percent off you know and go resell it online like with makeup stuff because i mean you powders or foundations whatever a lot of them cost 12 to 15 dollars you can get them for three or four bucks well, and if, especially, yeah and especially if they're hard to find if they are the last chance a lot of people miss their colors or miss their certain foundations so these i've sold a few and um, back in the day but i didn't like Man, that wasn't my primary focus. But so it just kind of cracked me up that <clears throat> Oklahoma was known for cosmetics in 2014 is what they mostly sold on eBay. And, you know, I, I did, I did have the walk up on my on my eBay account. Like, what are people selling in my area? And it was cosmetics. Really? Really? It was that. See, this is the one. This is one of the things, because after you told me about that, Maggie, I went into the store. I actually went in there to get something else. But I saw those last chance items. And so I took took a look at that. And this is one of the things I got. Let's see if I can. can, yep. can hey, I got that. that. I got that for myself, I, though. I love it. I did. got it for myself, too. <laughs> I, I got that. Well, I got it almost, like, over here, I don't go to Walgreens very often because CVS is closer. But, again, I haven't went to go source. So when I was in Oklahoma last time, I had to go get a few makeup. So I did the last chance thing because I never buy my makeup full price. And um, and. The one, like I told you, on Hefner and Rockwell, for some reason, in the cosmetics department, definitely have tons more than other Walgreens I've seen. And so it does depend on the store. I don't know why. Like, mm. all stores just don't get rid of their same crap or whatever. I have no idea why. But um, they are all different. And and I kind of, I'm kind of mad that I didn't actually get more stuff. I don't know why. I guess I wasn't in the – I was – Christmas vacation, so I guess I wasn't thinking about sourcing. I just needed some makeup, got it, and didn't get any extra stuff to sell. Um, but especially like the foundations, I think those are usually the best deals because sometimes you'll have something only like 25% off, which to me is not a big bargain. But but I'm 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 I might have to explore some of the Walgreens around here more than the one that's close to me and see if they've got. And it's not even just that pens. I haven't even sold these pens yet, but they're awesome. These are the only pens I. Can you guys hear me? Yeah. Okay, just hold on, because my thing did something dumb again and got you guys all quiet. Well, we're, we're listening to you. We're not talking. No. When somebody's calling, when somebody's calling me, no, no, no. I mean, like, not. No, I know quiet. what you're talking about. That happens to me too on my okay. phone. <laughs> um, but I got these pens. They are two pack. I believe they are two pack of pens. And they were erasable, but they are truly erasable. Like, they are the most – like, I I bought all of them. The whole dang thing, I don't know how many there were, 40 maybe? Because they were like 10 cents for two. Oh, pack. my. Yeah, I just oh, got oh. all of them. And then they had highlighters, and I think they were erasable highlighters too. I don't know why people weren't buying this stuff or they were getting rid of it because – they, like, I haven't sourced them because I like them, and I'm afraid I'll run out, and then I won't be able to find them and have to pay 10 bucks <laughs> for them or something because they are so flippin' cool. That makes so, it more worth it to, to sell because probably other people are thinking that too, and they're like, I can't find one of these pins, and if you sell it, you could probably sell it for 50 bucks. <laughs> I'll just buy one of them and see how much I could get out of it or see if they're even online anymore or whatever because I do have tons and tons and tons of them that I could probably live 
without. So I can make good bucks off of it. But yeah, so there's other things. I mean, like just, I always just go to baby stuff, baby stuff, the toy department, you know, anything. You just walk down those aisles and look for that orange tag. And just if it's 75% off pretty much, then I get it. Whatever crap it is. I didn't even know about that. (laughs) Yeah, I didn't either until Maggie told me. And there's a lot of stuff that were, they were gone. There's some things I wanted to buy and it was gone. So do you know how often they do that? Is that like an everyday thing or? I don't remember. I did talk to somebody at one, I think the Northwest Expressway Walgreens a couple years back and they told me, and I don't remember, but it's probably worth talking to the manager. Wouldn't hurt to go just talk to the manager, go, Hey, when do you guys put these last chance things on? Is it random? Is it every two weeks? Is it once a month or something, you know, and find out. So that way you can, get there on the first day and get the good stuff. Yeah, I've got one down my street, so I think I'm going to have to get friendly with the uh, manager there. And I don't mean that in a bad way. <laughs> I just realized as it was coming out of my mouth, that sounded wrong. <laughs> I, 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 I absolutely cannot do one thing to, to, to do that. <laughs> going to have to take my womanly prowls. And, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Oh, the whole thing back to that thing, though. Isn't it funny how that works? Like, all these states have different things that they popularly sold on eBay. It's like, that's so weird. You think it was just all random. Yeah. Well, maybe, I mean, I always thought, like, when I first started eBaying a long, long time ago, I always thought that certain things probably sell better in Oklahoma on eBay because we could sell it cheaper. Because Oklahoma is typically a cheaper state, you know. I hate using that word, but you know what I mean. But I, that's probably with anything, really. So, you know, to have an actual niche that would sell better in Oklahoma on the World Wide Web, that's just it's interesting. It's so interesting, our customers and the eBayers, the sellers, the customers. They're just – you can never really figure them out, you know. They're all weird, and I love it. <laughs> that's very true. I tell people all the time, like my parents – they get free stuff all the time, and now they give it to me to sell on eBay. Okay. And I told them that the uglier, the weirder, the better it'll probably sell. You know, <laughs> so just because it's ugly doesn't mean I won't take it. You know, <laughs> that's the stuff that sells. <laughs> mhm. Julio, have you been uh, sourcing it all from the like uh, Facebook pages, sell sites, or anything? Yeah, I uh, just the other day I bought um. It was some some vintage uh, Legos from this lady for really? five for five dollars. And I are you fit, serious? Yeah. How much did she, you get for that? I only got um, I only got forty dollars for it. I, I sold. No, it I mean her. I mean how much Legos did you get for it? It was a set like a like a set. Um, really? Yeah, it was. I was. It had. I think it had. Um, it had more of what is listed. Like it was supposed to be two two hundred and fifty six pieces, but it had three three hundred pieces. Oh so, my gosh, she so, had no idea what she had. <laughs> oh, I seen I, I seen I just saw the picture. I'm like, oh, that that looks old. <laughs> and I re, I did research, and it was from the sixties. Wow, yeah. you should have sold that for more. Oh, I I, I, don't I know. know. Why. <laughs> I put it up before. I'm like, what the hell was I thinking? It's so quick. I mean, really quick. You live and learn. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, any vintage stuff, especially like Legos or anything like that, then yeah, I should have I should have skyrocketed that. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe put two hundred best offer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I probably should have put it. I out yesterday. You know, speaking of that, like say you know talking about the shooting the price really high and then lowering it. What do you think about this? Okay. <clears throat> so I thought about doing that and I've done that with some of my items like just putting the price really really high because mm-hmm. I have some Oklahoma Sooner stuff that my dad my dad has given me because he's a collector of Sooner stuff but he's given me some of the stuff to sell on eBay and so I put it on there like if you bought it at a store it would probably be like $35 or something yeah. um, but you can't buy it anymore this this stuff is from the 80s 1985 oh, yeah. so um, what I've done is I put it on there for like $200, just one of the items or best offer. And one of them, I got an offer for 30 bucks and I don't take offense. I just shoot back an offer for a hundred. And this is an item that was for 150. So I was being generous, you know? <laughs> and, um, well, the first time that happened, it actually worked. He, uh, I had it for 150 or 200 
and the guy, you know, was, we kind of offered back and forth, and I told him 75 is the lowest I can go, so he bought it. Well, the second guy, when I offered back the 100, he just hasn't messaged me back, so I guess he was just like, F you, I don't know. Yeah. But my question is, do you think it's worth trying to figure out how much it's worth to change it later? Because, wait, let me rephrase this. I think my actual question is, how do I say this? So whenever you first put a listing up, it goes up as a new listing and it kind of gets shot up at the, you know, at the very beginning. But once it's an old listing, I don't think it's more as, as searchable. I could be wrong. Yeah. So my question is, if I'm trying to, if I put up a new listing, trying to figure out how much it may be worth and it's been up there for six months. And so I bring down the price, how will I don't, I feel like not as many people will see that. You know what I'm saying? Does that make any sense? I, I, you know, I've been thinking the same thing because I, I, I probably need to end it and then do yeah. it because I've done that with the, I have some luggage that I had up really high and I already changed the price like three or four times. I lowered it and it's still no, no action, but it could be that I need to end it and then, and then list it again, maybe. Well, see, I, wanna, I haven't seen I haven't seen that posted on the thrifters like as an answer, but people ask, you know, like, do you do yours good till end? I mean, just good till canceled or do you renew it? And some people do it this way. Some people do it that way. But that might be why it would be better to do relist them. But the problem is when you have thousands of items. Uh, yeah. It's another job. You want to Yeah. And that's what I do on most of mine is listed and forget it for real. Yeah, if I was at your point, I don't think I could help it. <laughs> I don't want to go back. I, I think eventually it just all sells. Because remember, at least not too long ago, you had that sale that was from one of the first things you listed, just out of the random yeah. blue. So, I mean, it's just, it's such a, just like, you know, you have a dead week for no reason. You have like a dead week and then things pick up and you get, you know, 20 things sold all of a sudden, you know? it's Yeah. That's just the whole and thing with eBay. It's weird. I don't, I mean, I don't think there's. There's not a formula. Like, Really? <laughs> I think yeah. it just depends on how fast you want to flip something because um, what what podcast was I listening to? I think it's – who is vibrating, Maggie? That's loud. <laughs> it's all – um, no, hang on. I want to – because I bet you'll know who this is. Um, let me look. Let me look. Let me look. Um, Scavenger Life. I was listening yeah. to them. And they don't, they're not fast flippers and they don't want to be. I mean, they, I, I'm sure they want to be, but they don't care if it, because they were just talking about how something they had for two years and it finally sold, but it's for a couple hundred dollars, you know? So I'm thinking that's worth it. Yeah. And I kind of like to list it and forget it, you know? And I, I have to admit, sometimes I do go in there and adjust prices and stuff, especially on the ones I have watchers on. So mm -hmm. I'm thinking, well, maybe they're just waiting for me to drop the price, you know? And if they don't buy it then, then a month later, I'll up it again, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Still got the watchers, but I mean, so yeah. yeah. I guess it just depends because I could eventually probably sell this stuff, but I just don't want to wait for a year or two, you know, <laughs> at the I price that I have it at. So I guess if I do want to lower the price, the best thing would be to end it and relist it, right? Yeah, I think so. Okay. I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna give it a try because I've been um I've been doing the like some of my older stuff, I've been doing auctions on them. I've been trying to just get rid of it, and it seemed to work. Like really, I got I got well, I still make more than what I paid for it at least, just to get it out of there. Cause I heard like, well, I was listening to State's Place. Uh huh. And, um, there was an episode she was talking about where it kind of opened my eyes. She said, "I'm not in the storage business. I'm in the selling business." I heard that one. Yes. I was like, you know what? She she has a point there. <laughs> So, yeah, so like every week she does. I started doing that too after I heard that podcast. I I would list a few things on auctions once a week, mm -hmm. and it worked a little bit, but it was like kind of taking away. I don't know, it's kind of making me too busy and taking me away from actually listing. So oh, okay. I kind of just stopped it. But no, I, I I think that's a good idea and it's working for her, mm -hmm. you know. And I, I've I think she has better products than I do too, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she has. Yes, she she's doing good. <laughs> <clears throat> so cosmetics now i'm like really i'm really looking forward to like going to my walgreens and talking to these people and checking out and see i wonder how 
I mean, do you guys know of anybody that sells cosmetics really well on eBay? Have you ever heard of that? I never have. I just don't put makeup on anymore, so I don't. I'm not into that anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's just worth a try. Get a couple items, you know, and see how quick they sell. If they flip really quick, go back and get more, you know? Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm going to do that. Like I said, over here, I haven't found anything good yet at our Walgreens, but that's definitely because, I mean, it's worth spending, you know, 20 bucks on four items and making 60, 70 bucks off of 80, whatever, how much. I mean, I don't know. But. Yeah. Not a bad yeah. idea. I'll hey, be hey, having hey, my hey, eBay hey. app out at Walgreens. <laughs> <laughs> you were talking about records, and I know you said rock, but I actually bought some records yesterday because I looked them up, and single single ones were of, of this girl. I've never heard of her. I don't know if it's Evie or Evie. Mm -hmm. Let me show you. I have no idea who this lady is. Mm -hmm. I've never heard of her. Okay. Well, these are – oh, this one's actually – Okay. No, it's nice because they've been opened and listened to and well taken care of, but they actually have the plastic still on them. So I thought that would be a little bonus. Um, but individually, they're like four to six bucks each. But together, they were going like 30, 40 for four records. And I so I actually have, have four, 69 cents each. So I went ahead and got them. Even if I sat on them, you know, it's not such a big waste of money, obviously, to do them. So, I'm, But I didn't know if I was going to ask you just if you heard of it. I, I, I think I, if I do, I, I do have some listings of some records, but I have like lots, like like you said, it's, it's worth doing it like that, three or four, like five or six. I think it's I saw fun. some Johnny Cash ones, like seven records, and it did about forty five dollars, something like that. Yeah, but he's good. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I like Johnny Cash. I do too. <laughs> <clears throat> Yeah, but the yeah. thing is, it's, you know, people will go, oh, I remember listening to her, you know, and obviously if you've got more than one record, then I guess you are somewhat popular, you know, yeah. like this girl, she even made <laughs> for the kids, I guess. She's got a little song of joy for my little friends, and then the three ones are normal ones, and so, anyways, I'm curious since I've never, never heard of her. I'm kind of wanting to whip out the old record player just to go play it to <laughs> see what it is, but. Yeah, a record player? I did, I don't, you know what, I. I don't know if it's in Garage or if I actually got rid of the damn thing because I hated it. It was one of those – it wasn't the old school ones. It was one of the – it was meant to be old school looking, like the wooden ones. Oh, okay, yeah. That they sold for like 100 bucks. You know, I got that for Donald because he wanted a record player, and I thought, well, that – it didn't match my furniture. It didn't do anything. It ended up being like a little table. We never used it, so I think <laughs> I got rid of it. It did have a CD player in there too, though. And a tape player too, right, maybe? Uh, I don't remember if ours, no, I don't think ours had the tape player. It was a oh. CD radio and, uh, but, um, so I don't know if it's still in the garage or not. I don't know if we kept it, but, um, but I wish I, I hope I kind of have it cause I'm kind of interested to hear this. Watch me like it go. No, I'm not going to sell it. <laughs> I think I should just sell it. Forget it. <laughs> well, you know what? Um, I, I, the good thing about having, t well, teenagers slash kids in your twenties in their twenties is that you kind of get to know what's in and whatever. And my my twenty year old, she was she's really big into records, and she just got a few months ago she got a record player, and so yeah, she loves. I, I when Hastings was going out of sale or out of business, I went over there um, to do some sourcing, and I found a bunch of records. And she loves Christmas music, and if she's like me, what she is when it comes to Christmas music, she likes the old school stuff. So yeah. I found some of that. So yeah, records is pretty in right now. Record players. Uh, I, I got a I got a record player for Christmas two years ago. Too. <laughs> <laughs> That's the reason I started getting a lot of records. But I don't listen. The ones I'm getting rid of, I don't really listen too much. So, like, I mean, yeah. I, I priced them a little higher than like eBay, you know. Then and I've I've sold like what well, today they're gonna pick them up for what I would have got more. I mean, I would have got less on eBay if I would have put them. Really putting them on Facebook. So I was like, all right, I guess I'll just keep buying them since they're so yeah. cheap. <laughs> yeah, stick. I stick with MP3s. I, I don't, the less in my hands, the better. Yeah. <laughs> but it, the kids like them. <laughs> it's a, you know, it's like, I, I don't know how old you are. Uh, wow, I almost said Julio. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Anyways, uh, back in my day, like in high school and stuff, maybe even before high school, I remember bell bottoms were in, you know, the stuff from the seventies. So now today the stuff when I was a kid is in all the eighties and the nineties. And 
So, uh, is there anything else y'all want to discuss? Like, mm. I was telling Julio I've got up to 400 and almost 70. I had 470, and then I sold something. But, And I think the last time we had a meetup, I had 150. So, it sounds like a lot, but I was telling him I was really lazy for a couple of weeks there, so it could be a lot more. But I guess I can say yay. Accomplishment. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm supposed to be catching up with her. I really need to set some goals because I was like, um, well, she started – way earlier than me and so now i'm like but i can do it because like i mean that's the cool thing about sourcing or not sourcing the selling the stuff i have already because my research is nothing practically because i already know because a lot of this stuff was my ebay store before i closed it down so i know prices can fluctuate and stuff like you know years ago my ralph lauren kid stuff was selling like hotcakes now it's like all the african kids narche whatever however you say that that crap sells all my african store because we figured out why they closed down the stores in America, everywhere, actually, except in Africa. And so that's why they're selling. So I'm like, I up, up the price a little bit on some of them. Oh, but see good. now Yeah, but it's kind of sitting there right now. So, see, I haven't sold any of those in, like, two weeks because of the up prices. I think oh, I need really? to go back down. Well, you I need had to get it rid pretty of cheap. Stuff. I think you yeah, had it pretty cheap. But you have to understand, my shipping is so cheap with that little baby stuff that I'm making a decent profit on stuff that you have to understand I already bought on sale anyway. So I'm really kind of almost making my money back on stuff three of my kids wore. So that's really, really good. <laughs> three yeah. kids wore it, and I sell it and make practically my money back, you know? Yeah, I guess if you want to flip it quicker, just lower the price yeah, back I, down. Yeah, because I need to get these clothes out, you know? That's that's the deal. And, like, right now, I mean, I was supposed to do that, what, yesterday? I, and I went to the thrift store instead, but I really need to go and adjust prices. I'm changing a lot of stuff. Because we did talk about it, it's not about free shipping to get top rated, right? Right. Okay, because I'm doing – I'm switching a lot of things back to non-free shipping. So I know I, and what sucks is when I have a couple of watchers on it, but I'm like, I don't care. You've been watching this for weeks. You're not buying it. So right. I'm not really going to care, you know, because like, I'm not get out lowering the, pot, the price. Yeah. It's going to be the same price, but it's going to be $17.99 plus eight bucks shipping instead of $24.99 with free shipping, you know, because um, I've got to obviously play around with it because things need to go. Things need to go. Um, so that's what I'm going to do now. Oh, I had, um, we were at, I was at the Goodwill the other day, and I had my daughters with me, and then my daughter was like, "Hey, Dad, look, you can buy this for to sell on eBay." <laughs> I know I've had to tell my daughter. Oh, like, talk about it? eBay while we're in here. <laughs> That's funny. How girl. old is she? Uh, she's my four-year-old. Oh. Yeah, she was out there, and then she gets like upset. She's like, "Cause I'll get a toy or something." Is that for me or eBay? <laughs> I know I try to hide I, I try not to take her anymore because yeah. like well I want to spend more time in there than she does you know she's yeah. like ready to go and like the, one time I went to uh, try out the Goodwill in the expensive part of town like the rich people part of town and she went with me because we were looking for a Halloween costume for her hi Maggie and so she found her costume and I was so proud of her because she found it all by herself because mommy was sourcing yeah. And, but I mean, she put it together by herself, you know, she's eight years old. So she was done. And I was just on the first rack. You know, <laughs> I was so not done. And so I was trying to hurry up and I was finding good stuff. And because I, I flip through every single thing, because I just feel like I'm going to miss something if I don't. Mm -hmm. And there's so many racks of clothes. And so I was like, okay, 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 let's go look over here. And yeah, I, I wanted to spend hours and hours in there. So I try not to take her with me anymore because she, can we go? And I'm like, oh, you know, <laughs> I'm sorry <still> saying. <laughs> okay. You know what, guys? Okay. When I first like claim, I came on the computer now and when I clicked on, um, it said seven people in group. There was no videos for other people. So I don't know if, if other people tried really? to join and having issues. And then it popped off showing there's actually two, but I think initially, I think other people tried to join in, but they didn't have their camera. I wonder if they're having issues, maybe like me, with the whole... Well, I said something on Facebook. I know, but I'm just saying, when it showed up, but I also have my... know that we're on, and their videos weren't up, except Julio's and yours, and then it just, like, lasted for about 40 seconds, and then it deleted and went back to the two updated now. Uh-oh. Uh, okay, here, Julio. Figured it out. Right. I think you can just use that to look me up or click on it. I don't, I don't know. That's all I know. Because the username stuff isn't working. Even my phone number is not working. Because I think this is my new account. That's why. 
but that's my email. Okay. Oh, okay. There's that. Have you have you bought stuff on the on the Facebook Facebook market and resold it? You what? Have you bought on on the market on Facebook and and resold it on eBay? I, I have. Not. I oh. haven't recently. I've been looking because people are selling like makeup stuff again. Um, I guess Naked is a big popular brand, and so when I saw it posted, I looked it up real quick. I've been looking, you know, like anytime somebody posts something, I I look real quick to do my research. And then, um, so I was like, okay, how much do you want for all of it? And she was like, I don't know, make me an offer, because she wanted to trade it. And then it was like, ended up selling it for 30 bucks. And I was thinking, if she sold it to me for five, they're selling for 30 to 40 bucks, like these eyeshadow kit things. Yeah. Uh, and so I was like, no, I ain't doing 30. And so another lady jumped in. She's like, I got two of them. I'm selling for 30. I'm like, yeah, no. <laughs> so I want to <laughs> they're, you know, kind of eBaying and doing sales or something, because, so I haven't. I haven't found anything yet. I've looked and yeah, no deals for me. Yeah, I, I know if they find out that you're selling, they, they jack up the price. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I never mentioned. Like... <laughs> you know, I, I'm, I, I've had luck on, at eBay. With, I mean, on at Goodwill with uh, with stuff where they where they have priced up really really high uh, uh, at Goodwill. And then I go in there like, oh, they have it in the rack now because they have it on the display. And as soon as I see it in the rack, I know it's already marked way down. <laughs> really? So yeah, had, I've, I've seen had... people like showing their hauls with with Goodwill store, actual Goodwill store tags on them. And the Goodwills that I've been to, they don't have tags. Yeah, mine they they it. just have like a sign on the rack that says blouses oh. three ninety nine. That's cool because our, our I our, know. <laughs> Like the the toys are all they mark on them with markers. <laughs> I, was like, oh. I know, and they do that with the shoes at the bottom of the shoes. I'm like, are you? It's like I think, why would they do that? Is I mean, does anybody know what the method behind that madness is? Mm-mm. I mean, the only thing I can think of, of course, I'm going to take it personal, is they just don't. They're trying to make it harder for us to sell yeah. anywhere else. But surely there's got to be another explanation for it. But I want. I want. I had this thing right here. It's a wooden a carving, and it was a it was a Goodwill for about seventy five dollars for like three or four months, and then really? they put it, and then they put it up for eight dollars, and I freaking grabbed it. I was like, all right, seventy five bucks at Goodwill. Nothing should be over like fifteen there. You know, it's like, what, like the what the hell is that? <laughs> Did you do you already have that listed? Yeah, yeah. I put Did I put you have it, it listed for Martin Luther King Day. I bet that would have gone really good for that day. And uh, no, it's, it's been up for a while. Oh, I have okay. like pretty watchers on it though. Uh, I have it up for five hundred dollars. <laughs> Ooh. Wow. Yeah, it's. Oh, uh, I want to hear how that goes. Yeah, it's a, it, it weighs about seven pounds, and it's all wood. So. Well, I have do keep us updated on that one. Yeah, yeah, I will for sure. Somebody will eventually buy it for sure. Yeah. Five hundred dollars. Yeah, I listed it up high. I was like, with Mark, make an offer. If they do it half, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> For eight bucks. Oh, God, I'm going to go sourcing so bad. <laughs> and um, okay. I was going to tell you, too, um, if you ever get these um, uh, Hot Wheels monster trucks, have you heard of like, Uh-huh. I bought some at Goodwill. They had them in bags uh, for $5 in each bag, and they had four of them. So I was like, eh, I'm going to buy them all and see what happens. And I, I put them up on auction. It was 41 little monster cars, and they sold for 135. Really? Mm-hmm. Wow. Hot Wheels monster cars. I'll have to remember that. Yeah, I never. I had no clue those were worth even that much. So we're talking about the little ones, right? The, yeah. The collectibles. Okay. Mm-hmm. And they're mod the monster truck ones. I better go through Mihal's uh, car collection. <laughs> And he lot. actually plays with his toys. <laughs> I know, but he won't miss it. Yeah, she feels bad for going into her son's stuff because he actually plays with his toys. But... My my girl does too. Oh man, she's she plays with everything. You know what's she... funny is that Nico, my daughter, she's eight years old, and you know she's got plenty of toys, toys from handed down from her cousins, but um, because they're a little bit older than her. 
but she really loves her stuffed animals. Like, that's that's really her thing. It's stuffed animals or her 2DS or the electronics. But the toys, she doesn't really play with them that much. Unless we have, you know, kids come over. Because the kids want to play with their toys. So she wants to play with them then, you know. <laughs> you know how kids are. Yeah. No, that's mine. Yeah, but... <laughs> So, uh, so anything different from the last, um, anything that's like been better or worse for you, Julio, since the last meetup? Um, well, it after different? it was, I had, I had, I had a lot of, a lot of, sto- of sales on in November, December, the most all year. So that was did. Was it like that the year before? Are those the, like the biggest selling months? Yeah, I think so, because last month, I had, it had barely been, like, about seven months for me in, so I didn't really have as much, and, but I did, I didn't do as good, I probably did half of what I did this really? year. Yeah. Hmm. So. See, I like that, that's encouraging. Yeah, I'm it was. i forward to next year, or this year, I guess, I guess. <laughs> yeah. It was, it was cool, I was, I was not expecting that, so. And you I made think, seven, I, you made 7,500. Yeah. Isn't that what you said? November, December? Yeah. You I, did I mean, you do that, Maggie? <laughs> I was I was close to oh you know on the sixty days on the phone? Uh-huh. Yeah, I was at um twelve thousand seven hundred. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, it was it was good. Like and that's the most I've done since I've started. <sighs> See, that's very motivational. I, I can't wait to get to work. <laughs> <laughs> and and I, you know, I, I like on, I, I did slack off in December quite a bit because I was, I was still listing, but not as much as I normally well, yeah, do. Yeah, the pipeline, apparently, you know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's like, awesome, I, dude. I usually list in the morning when the kids are gone, and then at night when they're asleep, pretty much. And then now, since I can make a little more more noise, I just do it here in the in the garage, and usually go to sleep around twelve, twelve thirty, something like that. Man, I want to clean up my garage like that. Look at that. It's been, and you know what? Like everything, everything that I got to store, I got it from garage sales and five dollars here, ten dollars there. Yeah. So none of this stuff I spend money at a retail store. See, Other- see, that's that's something that's kind of a not necessarily short term or long term goal, but in between, to where I want to be able to have everything I have already listed Mm -hmm. so for the summertime all the garage sales coming out start sourcing like a maniac yep (sighs) that's a goal for me my favorite store uh, that i have there's this thrift store here in tulsa that's i I don't think they're they're not they only do it on saturday but i think it's like a church donations kind of thing and that's really that's been one of my favorite places i mean they sell stuff cheap just about all the time and i've got i've gotten quite a bit of money from, from them and they, they like seeing me there. So, like, I'm always there every single week. Right. <laughs> Here comes the money. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they call me the hat guy. I'm always buying hats with from them. <laughs> <laughs> I have a note here about, because um, I used to work at a uniform place. And, like, I, 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 I've, I've been getting a lot of this stuff at, like, Goodwills and thrift stores. Um, I don't know if you know, flame-resistant clothing. That stuff is really high. That sells for really high. Okay. Uh, it's, people, it's people that are working in the oil field. Um, mm. So pants, okay, that, okay. and they, they sell coveralls, pants, shirts, and they, they'll say flame resistant on there, and you can price that stuff pretty high. Because that stuff, shirts are going, like, brand new for about 45 to 50, pants 60 to 70, and coveralls can go just even higher. All right, thank you. Uh, I've got about 20 of them in the garage. Don't tell Donald what happened to his coveralls. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Her husband works in the oil field. <laughs> oh, so you know how much stuff is then? <laughs> like if it's brand new? That's well, he gets it free from his work, so I can't probably sell it. it. has his logo on it, but it's just funny. I guess yeah. I could cut out the logo and put a patch there or something. Yeah. <laughs> put a little <laughs> elephant on there? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, that's what she did one time with the kid's clothing. It had a spot on it, and she just patched on an elephant. So. <laughs> kind of funny <laughs> do what now uh they always have them thrift stores do i'll have to check that out because i have a feeling i've seen that a lot mm-hmm. you know especially here in oklahoma 
you know, there's a bunch of oil field work and stuff like that. See, there's another good thing that sells in Oklahoma. That, that could be it. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Hey, do y'all sell hats, Henny? I have caps. Okay, caps. I haven't sold yeah. any of them, but I've got them. <laughs> I've been, I have like, I probably, I probably have over a hundred, over a hundred and fifty hats and caps and stuff. And because I'm good. Yeah, yeah, about um, average like fifteen to twenty-five to thirty bucks. I think okay. my highest, my highest hat was about sixty dollars. It was really? a, I guess it was a, a um, a store that was closed already years ago. It was an old one, but I had it up for way higher than that. But I took a best offer. I, like I, I had two dollars and three dollars maximum to ship. Yeah. So. I think I need to up the prices on my hats because the science of it is so strange because I noticed that with some things that I have at a decent price, nobody mm -hmm. wants to buy it. Yeah. And so I up the price and two weeks later it gets sold, you know? So sometimes that's, that's one of the formulas I try using. doesn't always work, but sometimes it does. So. And I think what I'm investing is going to be in a better place to take pictures for my stuff. Cause you know I've been taking pictures in my living room floor. Pretty much. Yeah. So I'm gonna upgrade that maybe this year, see if that helps. Cool, cool. I um I feel like I've kind of upgraded. I've done I've taken some of Maggie's ideas. I took some of the ideas that were talked about in the last meetup mm -hmm. about the light bulbs and stuff. And yeah. so right now I've got uh I got a giant roll paper roll of paper that I've got hanging in my window. And I got to scroll down. So I kind of use that as my backdrop. And so what I use is my ironing board with a whiteboard on the on top of it. And then I put the paper on top of that just to make it bigger, you know, because the ironing boards are not that big. Um, but whenever I need to use the mannequin, I just move that out of the way and then put that there. But I've got I'm using four light bulbs, four light sources. And... And I did actually kind of make my own um, boxes. I used the white boards, the white foam boards, and mm -hmm. just kind of cut them up and put boxes around a couple of the lights because I noticed that I was having shadow in my lights that I didn't like. And it's really helped a lot. I mean, if you just like you're not used to it, you wouldn't see the difference, but I can see the difference, especially in my pictures. And with that and then the settings that Maggie gave me the advice on, I have not. I have not photoshopped my pictures in a, in a while. Your so pictures I, I kind of, on the store. Huh? Your pictures look good on your on your eBay oh, account. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. There's a good. couple on there that I'm like, I probably should make these better because I have like a free people shirt tank mm -hmm. top and it's beige, but it doesn't really look good. I, I, there's some on there I probably should fix, you know, kind of pop out more because like that one, it just you can hardly see it in the thumbnail. So people might be like just passing it by because it doesn't pop out. So, but thank you. Thank you for that compliment. I do try. <laughs> my, uh, my elephant sweater has got two watchers on it now. The one you patched on the elephant. Oh, that's really cute. I like just that idea. Cause it was a cheap sweater and I'm having a hard time. It was like a Walmart, whatever, Circo brand that probably cost eight to 10 bucks. I'm guessing whatever. And we've had it for nine years, <laughs> and it's still like really good condition, except of that spot with that elephant. And it's so cute, I didn't want to get rid of it, so I'm surprised. I didn't have any watchers on it before. It's like all the sudden. What, what do you have it priced at? Nine bucks. That's it. Dude, it it's should a sell pretty quick. Walmart. Hell no, I'm not selling it for any more money. That's just. There's. there's what's you got there? I don't know. What's you doing? I was trying to show, but I don't think you can really see it. <laughs> the glare's too. Uh, no, nah, it's probably not gonna work. It's a white box. What's that white box? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if it. I think we could have seen it, but that white box was in the way. It, that's the Lego set that. I... Oh, cool. Yeah, that's very cool. Yeah, and um. Nostalgia. <laughs> <laughs> I'm big into that stuff. I mean, I was. I'm more of an 80s kind of girl, but, you know, I, I love that stuff that reminds me of my childhood. Love it. Yeah. And I'm not the only one. <laughs> as, you, as you were saying about your kids' clothes that you resell, I did the same thing because my wife was going through our 
purging all, all their stuff from the room. And we were, I, I did go to Goodwill about three or four times, just throwing it in it. And I just grabbed the best stuff, and I, I already sold it, like like their little jackets and stuff like that. I was like, man, they actually do sell pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like 15, 20 bucks, $10, you know, but still, it's like, we're not going to yeah, use it. Yeah, Maggie's any- are in great condition. That's cool. Calculating that you have 500 things for making that $5 profit, that's 2,500 bucks, you know? <laughs> so when you thought of I wouldn't want to mess with it if I only had like 20 to go make two bucks here, five bucks here. But most of the stuff I profit five to 10 bucks off of most of it. Do you, do you put them in lots stuff like that? Or? I don't, I have before. I don't like doing lots. I do a few things. Like I have like a brand new, most of them. Well, no, I think all of them are brand new boys, lot of five t-shirts. Mm-hmm. And I just don't do well with lots. I mean, it's a, it's a great deal. They were Twelve dollars each and stuff. I just need to get. I'm sure I got them for half off or whatever. But I mean, on the tags it says twelve bucks. You think five t-shirts for twelve bucks each? I'm selling them for twenty bucks. You think they sell pretty quick with free shipping? Yeah, mm. nothing. Nothing. Yeah, I just lotted up a whole bunch of uh, plush animals yesterday. I got <clears throat> from my brother-in-law's apartment. But there was like I, I lotted up all the like all the dogs. I did it by animals, kind of. Oh. And but if I had enough, then I did it like there was. I had a bunch of beanie boos. I guess that's what they're called. There's beanie babies with the giant eyes. So yeah. I put those all together in a lot. I put a whole bunch of dog stuffed dogs in a lot. And I think it's really good to sell like when you have good items and then some yeah. crappy items in a lot that you know won't sell by itself. <laughs> yeah, that's what I do. <laughs> yeah. So because there's at least two um, of the dogs that would sell pretty well by itself. And I was showing Maggie one. I mean, it's kind of ugly, but the brand is Melissa and Doug. And it's a life-size dog. It's actually bigger than what I've seen Boston Terriers to be actually be. But I saw it was going for like 40 bucks on eBay just by itself. And then, a, a, like, it looks like, like new condition, a beanie buddy. And it's not tiny. It's a little bit like medium-sized dog. I mean, it looks like, mint it looks so cute and i think uh those were going for maybe 20 so and the rest were kind of i mean they're still cute but and there was a pug that was like a 1992 pug that was selling for maybe 15 20 dollars yeah that, but i put that in part of the lot so i think i have them all on there there's six dogs total and i have them on there for i think 70 dollars or best offer okay so, but I sold a lot of coach purses, I think like four hours after I listed them, it was three coach purses and I had those for 75 or best offer and somebody offered me 60 and I was like, hell yeah, I took it. <laughs> so lots, lots aren't too bad for me. I think just trying to decide if I wanted to do a lot or not, because most of the time I would just want more listings. Yeah. So I think that's what kept me from doing a lot of lots. You know, but that lot of coach purses kind of encouraged me to do more lots, you know. <laughs> yeah, I got quite a bit of stuff lot and lots. And then I have stuff where I'm, I bought the same item. And so I just take that one picture and put um, quantity five or something. Yeah. Those are pretty cool. What, too. what kind of decisions do you make when you want to do a lot or not? Like what? Um, it, like you said, if if I have uh, some crappy thing that doesn't sell for nothing, I put it up with uh, more stuff that that more popular stuff with it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Here you go. I went to a Grosso and I bought um. They had the Disney uh, bean plushes. They're they were just a little small and this lady had over a hundred and thirty of them. So I was like, hey, can I just buy them all? Cause and I bought them for like seventy bucks. Yeah. And. And there was like, like there was a uh, Bambi. There was like the characters from Bambi and. Oh wow. So I I lauded all those little characters from the movies together, and that's also. Oh, that's, that's a good cute. idea. Those were I still have like maybe I still have some more, but I made my money back on this uh. uh Wonderland. No, was Alice in Wonderland. Alice in Wonderland. Yeah, I made my money back just with those those like I think they oh, sold really? for like. 
Trish or something. Sweet. So. Wow. They, hey, they were, I would be scared. I would be too scared to s- spend seventy dollars on something. And I was, I was like, <laughs> and I was like, you know what? They all have their tags, and there's more than a hundred. So even if I sell them for a dollar, I'll make my money back. That's true. Oh, so I was like, you forget it. So those were, and I was like, yeah. And I still got. I mean, I've been making profit on this for a while now, because uh, I'm pretty much made the profit back with two or three sales that I sold. Sold lots. Of- Sweet. So, and I, I'm thinking about just pairing some more of them up and just setting them as, just to get rid of them now. I've had them for yeah, a while. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. How long have you had them? Uh, over a year now. Okay. Probably a year and a half, maybe now. And there's still some, I still have like a Bambi set and um, some other, um, the Fantasia set, the, the Mickey Mouse ones. And some other couple of two or three sets that I still have. I wonder that, why they're not selling, because that sounds like a very sellable collectible yeah, thing. You I'm know? surprised that I've still got them. <laughs> I wonder. And I put them on Facebook. <laughs> just to. I wonder if, I mean, here's an idea. And if you do this, I want to know how it goes. But I'm wondering if you like ended them and relisted them. I wonder if they would sell. That could, so I'm if you try- end up doing that, let me know, because I'm curious. Oh. As an experiment, you know, to see if that has anything to, you know, kind of push I'm, it up there in the searches. I, I, oh, man. I, I, there was I, at this garage sale I went to, and um, this lady had, like, a big old box. I don't know if I talked about it, but it was stickers and decal stickers. Like, they were all racing related. Mm-hmm. I was trying to buy the whole box from this lady, but she wouldn't, not, like, not, like, she's like, no, I'm going to just... Keep them so I can give away to some customers. I'm like, what? I'm gonna buy the whole thing. So that's just, weird. <laughs> I was like, and then she's like, well, just take whatever you want. So I, I, I grabbed like a good bunch, and she's like, just take them. You can have them for free. I'm like, all right. <laughs> really? So, yeah. And but I've been, I've had those for a year, and um, I, I was selling them individually, which I did. Um, there were some there. They said New England Dragway on them. And they were old, and I had like 60 of them, and I sold them for five dollars each. And I sold about 20 of them, but I I ended up putting them all in auction. And I sold them for 80 dollars. The rest of them, just to, but it was they were free. I mean, yeah, heck yeah. I didn't free spend, is the best way to source. Well, yeah. one of my best sales was a thing I bought for five bucks and sold. Oh, it for that's eight. right. Unicorn pooping, a pooping unicorn. So anything pooping that you see ever, <laughs> get it. Okay. Get it. Pooping animal cell, especially unicorns. You know, I did saw a, a statue. It was like a, a sound activated one. It was a dog. And when the person walked, it farted. <laughs> <laughs> you know what's funny, Maggie, is that you you said, so if anything poopy, get it because it sells. What I took away from your cell was anything unicorn. But okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, but the poopy, that's why I think Barbie recreated the pooping dog because they probably are like, man, this pooping crap sells because Anya wanted it for Christmas and she got it. It's a pooping. Pun intended. <laughs> pooping Barbie. Barbie dog. Here's something poop related. It's a, it cleans, it cleans the toilet. Head of state. <laughs> That's funny. But it cleans like it cleans the toilets. Right, <laughs> that's clean. hilarious. How much you got listed that for? I haven't seen that that's stuff. Funny. I have it up for like twenty or something like twenty, thirty bucks. There were there, there wasn't there's not a lot of them, but it's funny. <laughs> it's I funny. bought it like goodwill. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm ready to wrap this up. Get to work. Be yeah. productive. Yep. I actually have work. some stuff I need to ship out. Take to the post Hello. office. I got a couple of things I'm going to ship right now, too. Just two. Awesome. Two. But we well, still got a day. <laughs> still got a what? We still got the rest of the day to go. That's right. I'm going to yep. bust some ass. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Me, too. Well, happy eBay to you guys, and uh, I guess we'll see each other whenever. Okay. Next next month or sooner? Yep. But yeah, yep. I'll put I'll post some polls and 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 we'll do some uh, get-togethers. I can't wait. I I really look forward to some face-to-face stuff. Yeah, so. me too. That would be nice. All right. Well, I will talk to you guys later.
All right. All right. Well, yeah. Bye. Bye.